Hello and welcome to another week of the new release roulette, a weekly dive into the hottest and most talked about video games releasing over the course of the next seven days. I'm Brian from leveldowngames.com and today we'll be focusing on the week of May 24th through May 28th. Real quick, if you like us, be sure to help support us by clicking that subscribe button before we get started. All right, let's go ahead and go small cam and get these trailers fired up. So, what is Biomutant in a nutshell? Biomutant is an open-world, post-apocalyptic kung fu fable. Basically, in terms of structure, it's like uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, I guess. But the feedback that's you know that we've been getting over the years, it's that it kind of uh, a strange, weird, good mix between Ratchet and Clank, Devil May Cry, Batman Arkham. Yeah, and a couple of other influences. So it's truly an uh, open world game, 8x8 eight eight, uh, kilometers, filled with a lot of weird events and fun things to find. I think the primary thing that we worked a lot with is uh, the control that the player have uh, over the character customization. We have uh, the possibility for the player, you know, to, to set the attributes and in Biomutant that's uh, tightly connected or integrated with the way that the character uh, looks. But the player is like completely free to morph their own uh, breed, we call it a breed, but mammal if you will. And eventually, you know, people have a lot of assumptions on what kind of animal this is. But for me, and I guess the team, we have allowed the player to make what I call you know, more like a Muppet. And with character customization, you know, it goes all the way down to crafting bits onto your clothes or hats or uh, pants or whatnot. Uh, I guess the most important thing is the arsenal or the weapons. I mean, it's an action role-playing game, right? So we're focusing on, on the action parts of, you know, the role-playing aspect. Each like part that you can find for weapons and gear also comes with like a, a material, uh, a, a quality aspect, so they can be more damaged or of a higher quality material. Just mentioning that you don't have to repair, <laughs> but you can actually upgrade things that are broken, but they, they will never uh, diminish in terms of, of their material qualities, like in Zelda, for example, we don't do that. In the game, you have six different tribes, uh, so they're all composed of, you know, a leader, a Sifu, if you will, that have mastered a specific Wang Fu uh, combat style and uh, trained his disciples in, in that. So these tribes are now in conflict. Basically, there are three tribes that have what we call a light aura. So basically a, a good karma, if you will, if you want to paint it black and white. And there are three tribes that have like a dark aura. Eventually, at the start of the game, uh, you will find that you have to choose an ally. So one of these six tribes. As you move along or uh, go further into the game, you're free at any time to change your allegiance. But at the start of the game, you, you, you choose one of these two tribes. And basically at that point, the state of the world is represented by a huge tree that's at the heart of the 8x8 kilometer open world. So it's a representation um, of the world either uh, going under or the world surviving. So this is all tied to the tree of life. A light or a tribe, they want to save the world, so make sure that the tree uh, survives, and also then uniting the other tribes, whilst allying with dark or a tribe would mean the opposite. They believe that the only way that you can move forward is to make sure there's kind of a cleansing, I guess, so uh, making sure that everything that's bad in the world uh, kind of goes on there so you have a rebirth and start anew if that makes sense so you're very free to make this choice but also bear in mind that that will affect the ending of the game <laughs> obviously game being called by mutant has to have some form of mutations uh, slash abilities right there's quite a wide range of them primarily we have the by mutations so those are kind of 
more physical abilities, if you will. So for example, you can spawn a, a mushroom in front of you. Uh, that has multiple uses, if I just use that one as an example, in terms of creative freedom for you as a player. Combining this jumping up on the mushroom with, let's say, just uh, electricity shooting out from your fingers, like the Emperor in Star Wars, or once the character is airborne, like your enemy, uh, just going up there, unleashing some other kind of strange abilities. I don't want to go into all of them. But uh, the other aspect is the Psy mutations. So those are more like your you know, X-Men style abilities, if you will. Like, for example, Levitate, which again uh, can give you both exploration opportunities, but also then in, in you can use it in combat in conjunction with other abilities and obviously ranged combat. So that will give you an advantage, I guess you're wanting to keep on exploring the world because you're wondering what's going to be you know around the next corner and i guess the hope that we have as a group as a team is that that's going to be the unifying factor in terms of people playing the game and giving us feedback uh, that we that it's notable that the game has a soul or a vibe that is a little bit unique and special that's my highest hope for the game i guess Biomutant is an open-world post-apocalyptic kung fu fable RPG with a unique martial arts styled combat system allowing you to mix melee, shooting, and mutant ability action. A plague is ruining the land and the tree of life is bleeding death from its roots. The tribes stand divided. Explore a world in turmoil and define its fate. Will you be its savior or lead it to an even darker destiny? Biomutant releases tomorrow on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. This world is about to be swallowed by chaos. It's called the Conception, the rebirth of the world. It is I who will create the new world. Man is destined to die and the world to end. Yet still, you challenge the order of the universe. The world is still being recreated. Its shape is not yet fixed. The power of creation will be mine. To create or destroy this world, the choice lies with you. The world must first die for it to be born again. What begins as a normal day in Tokyo turns out to be everything but when the conception, an ethereal apocalypse, is invoked. The remains of the world are swallowed by chaos as a demonic revolution descends into a broken city. Caught between a battle of gods and demons, the choices you make can bring life, rebirth, or death and determine who triumphs. Reawaken your inner demon in a modernized version of the acclaimed Atlas classic, Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster. <sighs> what a title. Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster releases tomorrow on PC, PS4, and Nintendo Switch.
Cannon Shot's echo on the seven seas is on the horizon the sun rises on a new dawn of pirates. Drop your moorings, unfold the sails, and launch yourself into the heart of the storm, shaping your empire. The murder of your father will not be forgiven. King of Seas is an action role-playing game set in a deadly procedurally generated pirate world. King of Seas releases tomorrow on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. All right, so here's the deal. We know what Final Fantasy 14 is. I just wanted to put this trailer on there because patch 5.5 releases tomorrow on PC, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. And uh, this is the patch that introduces all the updates for the PS5. So I'm really looking forward to it. So, you all think you are ready to flip the castle, huh? Rome was not built in a day. We will start modest. But we will not cease to dream big, huh? It is not all about brute force, though I must confess that destruction can be... a little addictive. In your line of work, you will need to be accurate and thorough. I will expect creativity of you. Those interiors are not going to get furnished by itself. The real artistry is in the details. Oh! Speaking of the devil, I hope you are not scared to visit gloomy dungeons or fix deadly war machines, huh? Did I mention galleys? As you can see, I have more than plenty for you in store. That is where the real magic happens. You take your hard-earned coin, you invest it, and reap the fruits of your labor. This is how you make your real estate a reality. And a profitable one at that. Who knows? Maybe one day, you will even get to entertain the king. Castle Flipper is your unique chance to become a medieval royal craftsman. Build your own kingdom and rearrange the castle at your own discretion. Breathe a whole new life into the old rooms and maybe one day you will become king. Castle Flipper releases on Wednesday for PC. The gates of the Celestial Realm were thrown open. We will take back what the dead have ravaged.
The first strategy video game adaptation of Age of Sigmar's Dark Fantasy Universe lead your highly customizable force and unlock new units, equipment, and skills in this dynamic turn-based game packed with fast-paced warfare. Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormground releases on Thursday for PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. I still don't know who I am or who I want to be when I get older. Even though I'm older now, I don't know what I'm here for. But I found out no one knows, everyone just goes with the flow. I still don't know. The Longest Road on Earth is a deeply personal and meditative narrative title. Play in the songs of four short stories featuring stripped down mechanics and no words. Each story is up for interpretation. What story lives inside you for each character in the world around them? Be swept away by the haunting and sentimental lyrics of over 24 original, emotionally charged songs sung by one of the developers. Walking down the longest road on Earth will only take you two hours and it's worth every step. The Longest Road on Earth releases on Thursday for PC. Dive into a magical woven world on the back of your own carpet dragon. Explore the textile landscape, solve puzzles, challenge quirky creatures, and unravel the great mysteries of a long forgotten past in Weaving Tides. Weaving Tides releases on Thursday for PC and Nintendo Switch. The first thing you all need to figure out is what your task is. However you want to get that done, it's up to you. Watch this! You can't get away! all work together. The Go-Getters Club will never fall apart. Friends till the end. World's End Club. Coming May 28th, 2021.
The Go-Getters Club, a group of misfit students from all over Japan, find themselves trapped in a strange theme park during a class trip. In order to unravel the mystery of their circumstances and find an escape, they must take part in a game of fate that will test their bonds of friendship. With colorful visuals, charming characters, accessible gameplay, and a compelling story, this is an experience you will never forget. World's End Club releases on Friday for Nintendo Switch. That's going to do it for the new release roulette this week. Are you excited about any of the games coming out over the next seven days? Let us know down in that comment section below, and we'll be down there interacting with anyone that chooses to do so. If you like us, hit that subscribe button and the bell to stay up to date on everything that we upload. And if you like this video, hit that like button as it's the best way to let us know. Be sure to tune into a brand new episode of the Level Down Games podcast tomorrow morning on whichever platform you use to get your podcast. And until next week's roulette, keep that cylinder loaded. Take care, guys.